In this video, we're going to solve systems of equations by using elimination method. Now, sometimes with elimination method, we're set up very nicely where we can cancel right away, whereas sometimes we have to multiply one or more of the equations to get something to cancel. In this case, we notice our y's, we have 1y and negative 1y, are going to cancel each other out when we add these two equations together. So we can add the 2x plus 1x, which gives me 3x. 1y and negative 1y cancel out. And then I'm left with 18 on the outside. So I get x equals 6 when I divide by 3 on the 18 and 3x. So there's one of my answers. And then to get the y, I can just plug that in. Why don't we use this equation right here? Well, I'm going to have 6 in for the x minus y equals 10. Then I have, let's see, we'll subtract 6. Negative y equals 4. Divide by a negative 1, or basically just change the sign. And we get y equals negative 4. So my answer will be 6, comma, negative 4. We get that ordered pair. That's how we want to write our answers. You'll notice in this one, we don't have anything that's going to cancel right away. So we have a couple choices. Well, I see that I have 2p here. I have 1p here. If I multiply this guy here by negative 2, I can change the coefficient. But I have to multiply everything in that problem. So I'm going to have negative 2p minus 2q equals negative 8. Everything gets multiplied by that negative 2. But now I have this right here as my new system of equations those two equations there. Let's add them together. Well, 2p and negative 2p are going to cancel, so they're gone. 3q and negative 2q gives me 1q, or just q, and 9 and negative 8 gives me positive 1. So I have one of my solutions. To get my other solution, I'll just plug it back in. How about to that first equation? So I'm going to have p plus 1 equals 4. Subtract the 1, I get p equals 3. So my ordered pair is going to be 3, 1. Remember, alphabetical order. P comes before Q in the alphabet. Trust me. But if you want to double check it, take a look or sing your ABCs. Some of you may be thinking or asking the question, well, could I multiply by anything else? Yes, I could have used a negative 3 in place of the negative 2, and then my Qs would have canceled. I would have solved for P first, and then I would have plugged back in to solve for Q. Either one would get you the same answer. It's just up to you about how you want to go about solving the problem.